So when I give, I must see the harvest of what I'm sowing. Two points. And the first one is prophetic giving that I want to share with you. We have to understand the power of giving. And I want to, I'm not going to take a lot, lot of time on this principle because everybody knows how to give. But when we go into enlargement, there is another thing attached to giving which is called confession. So when you give, you must confess what you believe in God for, what you are trusting God for. Every point I've given you flows with each other. So when I give, I must see the harvest of what I'm sowing. So I'm not just giving a hundred rand or a hundred dollars. I see my house pay. I hear the word of God. I start having revelation on the scripture. For me, the first revelation that came about prosperity was very simple scripture. Psalm chapter 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not lack. So therefore, that scripture is not a funeral scripture for me. A lot of people read it at funerals. The Lord is my shepherd. He leads me. He guides me. He protects me. He makes sure I don't fall off the cliff. He makes sure there's, there's no wolves coming along my side. I understand that the Lord, the Elohim, the El Shaddai, the Jehovah Shammah, the Lord is my shepherd. I, therefore, I shall not lack. I cannot lack. It's impossible for me to lack if I have a revelation on the shepherd. So that was my revelation on financial breakthroughs. I, like my son preached this morning, I refuse to live in the realm of lack. I don't live in the world of lack. Oh, you have money. No, I also have things that I want, not need, want. But I refuse to be in the realm of lack. When my money is low, which is the lowest form of wealth, is I give everything away. I'll go to the petrol station, pour in petrol, and give everything I have to the petrol attendant. More that's in the car, uh, in, in the, that is pouring in. Why? Because I make a statement that I will not live by what the balances or things declare because I don't live according to the natural. I live and move in Him, and in Him I have my being. And a lot of people have come to me and said, you're reckless. You are, well, okay, then, then, be, then so be it then this is all reckless. I'm a reckless giver. I'm a crazy giver. The devil wants to hold your money. I say, let go, man. That's the way we fight the devil, with our finances. So I want to give you a couple of scriptures here on giving tonight. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 22. I'm going to read from the Amplified Classic. It says, you shall truly tithe all the yield of your seed produced by your field each year. What does it say? I must sow, or not sow, I must bring my tithe of everything. Hallelujah, son, daughter, to produce. I'm glad a child agrees with me because the rest of the church. You shall surely tithe all the yield of your seed produced. By your field, your company, your industry, wherever you are each year. So the power of tithing is very, very, it's, it's a crucial key to unlock breakthroughs in your life. Let, let, let me try to, uh, to, 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 to explain it a bit more practical. I can give you a bunch of keys tonight. And we all show, I've got keys. But if I ask you, go and open up that door for me. And you don't know what key it is. You may have all the keys. But if you don't know what key fits in that door, you're not going to open that door or you're going to struggle for an hour. So all of us have keys, but we don't know where it fits. Tithing is one of those things. And I know those of you on television are going to send me a lot of emails. Please don't even worry. I'm not, re I'm not even going to read those tithing e emails. Because here's the thing. It's in the word of the Lord. And I live according to this. It is going to produce a harvest for me if I do and take the key of tithes. 
Let's jump to Deuteronomy chapter 14, verse 21. Just one verse, ach, verse 11. Sorry, not that one. Deuteronomy 12, verse 11. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 11. In the New King James, listen to this. Then there will be the place. Say the place. Where the Lord your God... I don't know if I should read. Carry on reading. I don't need a church. I choose my church. No, you don't choose your church. You don't sit here because you, you thought you chose it, but God brought you here. Some people watching on television around the world, they can't get to Johannesburg every week, but we are his, their church. I'm their pastor on television. It says here, there will be the place where the Lord your God choose, chooses to make His name abide. There you will bring all that I command you. Your burnt offerings, your sacrifices, your tithes, the heave offerings of your land, and all your choice offerings which you vow to the Lord. Where do I bring my tithe? To the house of the Lord. Where do I bring my tithes? To the place God chose. If you are from a different church here tonight, your tithe belongs to your local church. Those of you watching on television, uh, if you are in a church, your tithe goes to your church. If I'm your pastor, then that's where your church, that's where your tithe goes to. The place the Lord God chose for you. That's where you sow your seed. Now, I'm teaching on, on these lines of giving, and I'm not going to, like I said, spend a lot of time on this. I want us go, to go into the realm of confession. Are you ready for that? How do we get financial breakthroughs? You have to confess with your mouth, and you have to believe in your heart that the things you say will come to pass. If you don't believe it, it will not happen. It will not manifest in your life if you don't put faith with your confession. So tonight we're going to bring our tithes, we're going to bring our offerings, but we're not doing it out of religion. We bring it because God chose this place for us. And in that place, I will bring my sacrifices, my burnt offerings, my tithes, my heap offerings, my chose offerings. There are different levels of giving. All these levels of giving determine enlargement in my life. I believe I'm not going to sow the same amount that I sowed this year. We are reaching three weeks before we're done with, two weeks, three weeks before we're done with this year. By the 31st of January, my financial um, lady, Michelle, will give me a report of my whole years of giving. I will compare it with 2021 and see if I've increased. And then whatever I've given up till the 31st of December is now my portion and my vision for 2023 to say now I can go 20% above that. Because that's how I give. I don't just give. There must be a purpose. As a man, purpose in his heart. So he must give. So Lord, I've given so much amount of money in 2022. Help me to increase. Help me to enlarge. Help me to be a bigger giver in 2023. How many of you would like to be a bigger giver in 2023? Amen. 